we're here. Our stories matter. We have an audience and we've got the talent. We just, the only only thing that's stopping us or um, is a hurdle is access and opportunity. Hi guys, it's Max. I hope you guys are all really good. I have something really exciting to share with you. The Netflix documentary Talent Fund was created at the end of 2020 to support emerging talent from all across the UK. This was an opportunity for voices that have never been heard or seen, or very rarely get heard and seen, to get Netflix to fund their films, support their films, and eventually share with the world. Well, out of thousands of people that entered, Netflix and their team narrowed it down to 10 creatives. Those 10 creatives were then given a budget of £40,000 of support, mentoring with Netflix to create the stories that they felt were important to be represented. Wow, it still smells the same. Oh, we're by the fishies. <laughs> this is so cute. There he is. Plie. Over and out, bitches. Well, hello. I'm sorry, but I wouldn't put this on the wall. Josh! Josh! What? <laughs> Pull yourself together. Woo! There is this imbalance in the industry, so this was a really important initiative. I had the pleasure, I was invited to check out these documentaries earlier this week, and I was totally blown away. I also chatted to some of the talent behind the films. Before we talk to them, take a look at their work. Okay, guys, it's so good to have you all on Flippy Away. Congratulations, Netflix picked you. What was this experience like to be fresh new talent, to make a short, a documentary, but have Netflix totally supporting you? Oh, overwhelmed. Very, very emotional. It's It's been a long time coming, and I'm just grateful that everyone else is going to be able to experience this. I've only just come to terms with the fact that, like, not everyone has this experience. I can only work with Netflix now. <laughs> it's, um... <laughs> it's pretty sorry. You guys delved deep and told some very personal stories and really tackled a lot of issues that we're talking about currently all across the country. How important was it for you to share this story? Oh my God, so many things. I think the fact that this film even exists is a huge thing because we don't really get to see queer Asians in a positive light in mainstream media. And so to shine a light on this um, experience and to center joy in all of it is such a privilege to be able to do. So much like misunderstanding for trans and gender non-conforming people and I, I just hope that people will watch something like Twinkle Brain and be like this is what people look like this is like how happy people are when you're supported and you have people that will back you and you can you personally can change someone's entire life. You know, we're from different walks of life. We we like different things. We like different music. We, you know, we, you know, we come from different communities. And it was really key that we we took the opportunity or being presented with an opportunity like this that we demonstrated that. I think the like it's that like Jordan being from Derry, being white. There's assumptions about like who he's going to be, what he's going to be like. And I think we wanted to play on those assumptions, but then go beyond it. So it was the assumption of like, oh, we're going to get this, but but going beyond it to see deeper into who he is as a person and what he's trying to do. Before this opportunity came about and you were given this money and support, how difficult was it for you as a filmmaker to be seen and heard in this space? Yes, 100%, huge, 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 hugely. And so when, so that, that's why when Netflix came back and we're like, okay, we want you to go to the next one, we were like, <laughs> us? Yeah. Really? <laughs> we made it? Like, but that's huge because then it really signaled this. It was very comforting to know that Netflix was willing to invest in these stories and to shine a light on And the fact that they were able to give us creative control over the narrative and allow us to tell the story as best as we saw fit and for us and allowed us to bring a team and assemble a team that we were passionate about because we were very intentional about if we are going to tell the stories of queer Asians, we need queer Asians behind the screen as well, behind the camera, bringing, bringing it to life. For sure. Yeah, I'll see like the credits of something and I'm like, ooh. <laughs> you know, that wasn't your experience, which is why also I think this has been so great because it's literally my story and like all of the contributors have been very involved. Like, you know, I like showed them, showed them cuts, like made sure everybody was happy with it. And I don't think that happens a, a lot to kind of like check that 
you, you, you know, you're putting out somebody else's story and you're putting out, we're talking about this town where our families still live. Like everybody kind of, it needs to be true and it needs to be honest, but also you need to make people, make sure people like, are not gonna like get the smoke <laughs> when it comes out. My background is in state in filmmaking. Okay. So it can be really difficult to become, you know, an emerging filmmaker later in, in life. Mm -hmm. um, and what I loved here was that fact that, as Precious said, they only cared about the story. Yeah. And they made that really clear. Um, they said, we'll support you. If we love your story, we will support you. And I think, yeah, I think we're living proof of that was absolutely the case. And it's the first time that I've found an experience like this. Um, so yeah, yeah, totally. And I'm really, really grateful for the opportunity. We're sort of um, aware that it's kind of always going to be a struggle in terms of like wanting to make wanting to make documentaries, wanting to make films as independent filmmakers. Um, but we have like we've done shorts in the past, and we've been lucky enough to have commissions from um, Northern Ireland Screen, which is the funding body, and Channel Four and Rebel. So we we had experience like at, at, at good levels, but the this Netflix fund sort of was like the next step up. So I think. In lots of ways, like we felt like ready for it too. Like we were really excited by it. It's amazing, like an, it's been an incredible opportunity. But like I did think, yeah, we, we both felt like, oh, we're ready to take this on. Thank you so much, guys. An absolute pleasure talking to all the creators behind the Netflix documentary Talent Fun. And I hope this becomes an annual thing because for me personally, as somebody who supports fresh talent, especially in film, it's been an absolute pleasure checking out um, everyone's work this week. And you can check it out too and enjoy it. Everything is available to view over on the Netflix social platforms. For more, check out the show notes. Guys, I will be back soon with more. Keep smiling and keep going for your dreams. Um, take care. Bye.